This is what we are going to build using React and React Typical. And you can uh, create an animated typing indicator in your existing uh, React project or in the future one. So without further ado, let's get started, guys. Welcome, guys. Uh, in today's video, we are going to create a headline uh, typing animation by using a really uh, small library called React Typical. This is a, a library which I've built and it's open source and it's really small, only 400 bytes of code of JavaScript. And it's, um, it's really simple to use. You need to pass the steps and uh, here are like the uh, delays between uh, each, each uh, type. Uh, there is a loop property, which is a number and a wrapper. That's the uh, HTML tag that you'd like to wrap the text with. I'm here uh, in, in VS Code um, and I'll be using uh, Create React App. Uh, and if you don't have Create React App, you can go and install it uh, globally by using npm install -g create react app. I already have it installed. And in order to create a, a project, you need to do create react app and then uh, the name of the project uh, here. And this is going to install all the dependencies that you'll need. And uh, I've already created mine and it's called react typical tutorial. And let me open up the app.js here. And First, uh, let's go to the terminal and install React Typical library that I've mentioned here. And once this is finished, type yarn start to start the dev uh, mode. And this one, it's going to open the a new browser tab on port 3000. And it's going to listen for changes. Uh, so to test it out, let me uh, delete the anchor tag here and also close the terminal because we don't need it anymore and it's going to uh, uh, refresh the whole page once the files has changed and the first thing I would like to create the uh, an h1 here and I will say hi I'm Catalin Miron and here inside the p uh, I'll do uh, I'm a right so I am a developer and uh, those skills I would like to animate using React Typical. So import Typical from React Typical and here inside the P I would like to do Typical, pass the loop property, infinity in our case, and then the wrapper, I have a, a bold uh, wrapper and then the steps. For the dev, uh, steps, let me paste the uh, the steps here, and I'll I'll use developer, designer. I'm also a YouTuber, open sourcer, beatboxer wannabe, uh, a husband and a father. And after hitting save, uh, you'll see that uh, the uh, the text here it's animated properly, and it has this uh, typing animation on it. Uh, but there is no space in between uh, I'm a and uh, the, the values here. So I'll add the space. And now let me paste the logo, my avatar here and hit save. And let's go to app CSS and style it a bit. I always like to uh, reset everything uh, while I'm doing uh, CSS. So I'll do margin zero, padding zero, uh, box sizing, border box. And for this example, I'll be using font family monospace. And for the app logo, I'll be using a border radius of 50%, uh, a margin bottom 50 pixels. And then I'll do a border of one vertical height uh, solid and then I'll do 2, 3, uh, 2D, 3, 6 and 2, 2. And for the header, I will start to, I, I would like to start everything from the left uh, top. So instead of center, this is flex start. 
and also the color is going to be the same color as mentioned here so instead of white it's going to be 2 3 2 D and 3 6 and for the background color I'll be choosing the Batman uh, color which is FDE 311 now we are kind of getting somewhere right and to get, give uh, give this uh, container padding six it's even better and then for the edge one uh, I like to apply a margin bottom 20 pixels and for P I like to give it a line height of 2 amps font size of 1.4 amps 1.2 so we also styled it and the component it's uh, it's doing its job and it's uh, animating the typing uh, with all my uh, skills and my social skills uh, and this is how easy it is to just integrate it in your in your react application by installing react typical uh, importing it in your uh, component and um, provide the steps that needed uh, with also delay in between each step uh, and maybe provide the wrapper and how many times uh, you'd like to loop for example if i'll do one it's going to only loop once through this uh, array of items thank you so much guys for staying so long with me uh, i hope that you've enjoyed the tutorial and uh, don't forget to hit the like subscribe uh, and also the ring bell in order to be notified whenever i'm posting something new and if you want to support me go ahead to buymeacoffee.com slash catalinmiron and buy me a coffee uh, otherwise see you in the next video Bye-bye.